Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Taylor Laos, and if you've already been here before or subscribed, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Today I figured I would do the 50 facts about me thing, and I'm gonna try to make these interesting facts. I don't want them to just be like, my favorite color is blue. Because honestly, who gives a flying fadoodle? <laughs> Flying Fidoodle. Yeah, we're off to a good start. It's like 9 a.m. because I woke up early to film this because um, I waited till Monday to film. First fact about me, I'm a chronic procrastinator. Cheers. Also, before I begin, I'm going to be doing an Instagram Q&A. So if you don't already, follow me on Instagram and I'll be like posting a picture and you can ask me questions. So, yeah. I'll start with like the most basic and then we'll get more interesting, okay? Um, my major is mass communications, advertising with a minor in marketing. When I was in 10th grade, a boy asked me to homecoming and he put sticky notes on the chalkboard and asked me in front of the whole class. And I said no. No wonder everyone was afraid of me. My favorite song of all time is Flowers in Your Hair by the Lumineers. I love the Fault in Our Stars. I read the book twice, bawled my eyes out twice, and when the movie came out, I was super excited about it. And I went to the theater with my friend Courtney, and it was right before the last day of school, I think sophomore or junior year, so I did not let myself cry because I didn't want to have puffy eyes the next day. And then I went back like that later on in the week with my mom and grandma, and I bawled my eyes out starting at the sex scene. Ask me why? I don't know. I was like, uh, they love each other so much. It's so tragic. I'm tragic. I love to chew on ice. Give me some ice and a cup. I'll be happy for a solid 30 minutes. Just chew it on my ice. Especially kava ice. The ice that's not like chunky. It's all like bally. The texture. I don't know. Bally. Ball. Bally. Yeah. Okay. Good description words. I failed my driver's test two times, which means I took it three times. Um, and the second time I failed it, it was because I literally ran a stop sign. But I swear, I'm not a bad driver. I'm a perpetually cold person, and I have really cold hands and feet because I have very bad circulation. Wife me up. <laughs> I love going to concerts. I've been to like a million. Okay, I haven't been to like a million, but I've been to many concerts. And I believe that you should spend your money on experiences rather than material items. When I went to the beach in the summer one year, I was like 14. So I went to the beach and I saw this cute boy all week. He was blonde. And I ended up talking to him on the sixth day. It took me that long. Um, and I did it first by talking to his dad in the water. Interesting method there, Taylor. <laughs> Dad was hot though, I, I kid you not. The dad had a six pack, the kid had a six pack. They were fine. Turned out he was from Canada, Quebec, Canada, and he spoke French. And I found out from his sisters, he was talking about my butt in French the whole week. Right in front of me, I didn't even know. I love boys, they're so great. When I was young, I went to the same orthodontist my father went to, so obviously he was ancient, and he gave me headgear. So I had headgear growing up. Honestly guys, I've glowed so much you don't even know. I met Ariana Grande back in 2014. But yeah, I met her, I went to her show before she became really famous. She dropped her first album. Here's a picture. That's me, her, and Rye. She's really short. Took me 19 years to realize that my hair looks better when I don't brush it. 19 years of frizzy hair. When I was younger, I was subconscious about my hooded eyes. So I trained my eyebrows to go up higher and they permanently are like that now. So if I fully, and I mean fully relax my forehead, I have hooded eyes. Let me try to do it. Wait, hold on, this is gonna get weird. I look really angry too when I relax. I think this is what my eyes are supposed to look like. It's weird, but I trained them to be higher and now they're stuck like that, so I mean, anything is possible if you put your mind to it. <laughs> I had a um, Instagram nail account where I painted my own nails, and I accumulated 47,000 followers for it, so it was pretty dang good. Uh, you can go, here's a screenshot of um, what it looks like. I don't know if I'll be able to find a picture of when it was 47,000, but I haven't posted on it since February 2015. It's been almost two years. 
Yeah, I've lost a lot of followers because I'm so inactive. Now I have almost 30,000, but still, it's like a gallery. You can check it out if you want. Also, if you guys want a video on how I got that many followers, like what tricks and methods and advice, I'm gonna like make a comment and you can just give it a thumbs up if you would like to see a video on that. Um, see these second teeth? The ones next to my front teeth? I used to have very small ones, like they were literally so small. I think I found some pictures, so um, you can see how tiny they were. So I got bonding done on them. So these teeth are like not necessarily my real teeth exactly. Because of this bonding, my second teeth literally don't show up in black light. So it looks like I'm missing my second teeth in black light. And let's just say, for that reason, I don't particularly enjoy black light parties or raves. Not that I've been to a rave, but I don't plan on going to one because I'll look homeless in the mouth. Wife me up. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. that is disgusting. I used to be 1D AF, and I mean AF. I was full blown obsessed. I even saw the 1D movie, This Is Us, in 3D, which means it's more expensive. I think I saw it three or four times. And then of course I bought the movie and watched it multiple times after that and forced my family to watch it. I have a very sensitive nose. So if you smell bad, I automatically will not like you as much. Like. Have some personal hygiene, wear some deodorant, it's not hard. When I was a wee little girl, I used to write music and I wrote a song. I remember I wrote it in here, I think I was in like third grade, I don't know. Um, it took me about two minutes and I wrote a song and it goes like this. Performed live by Taylor. No, you don't start over again and leave me in the dirt, leave me in the dirt. I always liked you, but you never liked me. You always ran away when I walked up to you. Okay, so anyway, it goes on. There's like a bridge and everything. I, I, doing big things back in third grade. So my grandpa, he can play the guitar. He's really good at music. So he actually, in playing the guitar, made up the strings for it, made it sound good, and we went to an old folks home and performed it. Also, when I was younger, I used to play Call of Duty, Nazi Zombies, and I talked to him last night. Apparently, we made it to round 40 on split screen in Dare Rise. Um, speaking of my little brother, one time my little brother came into my room when I was little and he threw up on my bed, literally on me, and then went back to sleep. Who does that? God. Okay, so I have a nickel allergy, apparently. Good old orthodontist who gave me headgear, also gave me braces that were old-fashioned, very large, and nickel. So for a year or two of my life, my gums were inflamed like really puffy and gross. I hated my smile. And that's how I mastered the soft smile, my friends. Shame of my own teeth for two years. I really enjoy drawing faces, but I only draw females. And the reason why, okay, well I haven't actually drawn a female since 2011. So this is like six years old. I'll put in some photos of the drawings I've done. So yeah, I can draw kind of. I've never taken lessons, so maybe I should. When I was little, I had a show called The Taylor Show, where I filmed myself with my friends. When I watched these old videos, I would boss my friends around so heavily. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you're the oldest. My high school volleyball team won states in 2013. I also won all men honorable mention my senior year, which is a very proud moment for me. I'm definitely a type B personality. Yeah, that doesn't need further explanation. I wear contacts now. Greatest thing ever, bless contacts. So I can have dimples if I make a really weird face. I'll show you guys. Why is my lid bleeding? There it is. I don't really smile like that, so. So I can do a semi-decent Lois impression from Family Guy, but I can only say two words. I'll do it, okay, hold on. <clears throat> Wow, Peter. <laughs> it's not even good, I know. When I sneeze, I sound like Donald Duck. And people love to tell me this. Every time I sneeze, they go, <laughs> You sound like Donald Duck. And I'm like, Yeah, I never heard that before. So original. So uh, another fact about me is that I love reading. I always have. I just don't have time for it anymore, which is really sad. I need to read this summer. But yeah, when I was little, my favorite book series were Ginny B. Jones, and I read that up through third grade. 
And then once I got the third grade, I switched over to Goosebumps, and it was super lit. I would read that stuff all the time. My favorite author of all time is definitely John Green. If you haven't read his books, oh my god, girl or boy, get out there and read them. It will change your life and give you unrealistic expectations for boys. <laughs> One fact about me that I wish I could change is that I have no poker face. You will know what I'm thinking or feeling by looking at my face. Which means if I don't like you, you'll know. But it's not like I don't like many people. So, I mean, whatever. When I was um, really young, I was blessed with a giant gap in my teeth. Here's a picture. <laughs> Thank God that got fixed. Look at like Melanie Martinez, but worse. I love writing. When I was younger, I used to write stories and books. And um, I think I made like 37 chapters of a book once. One story I wrote was called Three brothers plus three sisters equals one nightmare. And it was like, uh, like a single mother raising this family and the father was trying to kill them. Dark for a fourth grader. <laughs> I am the pickiest person that I know when it comes to boys. It's not a bad thing though, except for the fact I've been single my whole life because of this, but whatever. Never settle. I used to have literally non-existent eyelashes. They weren't even there. Like, they were not there. And then I grew, so here's what, here's what my eyelashes used to look like. And then I grew them out, so now they look like that. And if you want a video on how I grew up my eyelashes, naturally, kind of. Um, I'm going to also make a comment, and you can give that a thumbs up if you'd like to see it. I'm definitely a dog person over a cat person. And I even have an Instagram account for my dog. She has over a thousand followers. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to love Pokemon. I was like, yes, Pokemon, but I loved it on the Game Boy. I looked at my Leaf Green, which is one of the games, and I put 270 hours into it. 270 hours of my life of going into Pokemon. My latest GPA was a 3.9, y'all. So I threw that in there. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I've always been a very, very deep sleeper. I once threw up in my sleep and continued to sleep afterwards. I woke up and I was surrounded by throw up. Wake me up, boys. <laughs> People say that I look like Shailene Woodley. My favorite season is summer because I love the warm weather, hate cold weather. When I was little, I had glasses that used to transition to sunglasses when I went outside. So that means, yes, in the winter when I'd be outside for recess, I would have sunglasses on. But ugly, small, thin-rimmed sunglasses. Also, when I was younger, I used to watch Baby Story with my mom and grandmother. They would show women giving birth, going through all the pain, screaming, and I loved it. And I was like, I'm gonna have 10 kids when I get older. I don't know where that accent came from, but yeah. I definitely do not want 10 children now. It's dropped down to two. I never use Do Not Disturb on my phone, and I will always answer the phone if you call me, like if I'm sleeping. I answer the phone before I'm even fully conscious, like, so yeah, I will always be there for you. If you need me at 4 a.m., I'm gonna answer the phone, unless I, like, don't want to answer your phone call for some reason, which I've done. I've watched through the entire series of Friends two and a half times. I am Rachel. <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, I failed geometry because of my stupid teacher, Mr. Hostler. I didn't even fail, but he didn't pass me. How messed up is that? But honestly, it was the middle school's fault for putting me two years above grade level in math. I'm not even good at math. I don't know why they did that. They screwed me. When I'm at college, I survive off of fast food and Hot Pockets. But yeah, I suck at cooking. I made rice about three times the whole semester, and I made avocado sandwiches. Everything else was like fast food and Hot Pockets. Yeah, I really want to learn how to cook though. I feel like I have an abundance of knowledge through the short cooking videos I've seen on Facebook. You know the ones. Yeah, yeah, you know the ones. They're great. Um, when I was a baby, I was so fat that I had four rolls on each leg. And then lastly, I write all of my dreams in my notes. So I will remember all of them, and some of them I don't even remember because I write them right after and then like disappear from my brain. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed getting to know me a little more. Make sure you leave video suggestions below because I want to do what y'all want me to do. Don't forget to like this video if you want more like it and subscribe. Thanks again. I'm almost at 27,000 followers, which is crazy considering I started with 23,000. So that's like 4,000 new followers. Thanks girlies and boys. Ew, okay. I will see you guys next week.
Bye. We were staying in Paris to get away from your parents. And I thought, wow, if I could take this in a shot right now.